Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be showing off my entire Omnibus and Absolute collection and then I'm also going to be talking about what I have read and what I think you should read if you want to read some of the best stories in comic books. Now if you don't know, Omnibus and Absolutes are collected editions putting a bunch of comics from runs or miniseries or uh, runs from a specific author, putting them all together, usually hardcover book. I have a huge Batman collection and right off the bat, I Batman Scott Snyder, Volume 1 and 2. I've read Volume 1. It was excellent. This is the Court of Owls stuff. Very good. Batman Grant Morrison, Volumes 1 through 3. Probably some of the best Batman runs ever. Must read. Batman by Paul Dini. Haven't read it. Batman No Man's Land, Volume 1 and 2. Haven't read it. Batman by Loeb and Sale. That is The Long Halloween. That's a must read. The Question by Denny O'Neill is fantastic. Think Rorschach um, with a little bit of uh, superhero action. We've got Lucifer by Mike Carey. This is a branch off of Sandman. If you like Sandman, you're going to love Lucifer. Uh, Fourth World Omnibus by Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby goodness. This is Green Arrow. This is something I haven't read. This is a Mike Grail omnibus. I've heard it's one of the best DC omnibuses there are. Superman, uh, The Death and Return of Superman. Have not read this. I need to read it. Next we have Green Lantern by Jeff Johns and Ethan Van Skyver, EVS. Hail. This is uh, an excellent Green Lantern run. The art in this is incredible. Uh, next to that we have Gotham Central by Ed Brubaker. It's incredible. Um, it's a must read. Hellblazer by Garth Ennis. John Constantine stories. If you love Preacher or you love anything Garth Ennis, you're going to love Hellblazer. House of Secrets Omnibus. This has a lot of that Bronze Age stuff from around the time when Swamp Thing was introduced. Have not read that yet. Coming down here we have some... Animal Man by Jeff Lemire and Grant Morrison. The Grant Morrison run is a definitive comic book run that's a must read. And the Animal Man by Jeff Lemire Omnibus from New 52 is also fantastic. Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison is also fantastic. Highly recommend. Very trippy, psychedelic. And Deadly Class by Rick Remender. There's a fourth volume I need to still get. That is one of the best comic book runs I've ever read. Next we have Ex Machina by Brian K. Vaughn. I have not read this yet. And Brian Azzarello's 100 Bullets, an incredible read, must read. Why the Last Man Omnibus by Brian K. Vaughn. Excellent, huge book, very good read. Swamp Thing New 52 Omnibus, this is Scott Snyder, really good. Monsters by Barry Windsor Smith. Man, this is a dark, depressing book, incredible art, very good read. Scott Snyder's American Vampire Volume 1 and 2. Uh, very good art by Albuquerque. Story's very good. I would just stick to Volume 1 if I was going to get it. Catwoman of East End by Ed Brubaker. A must-read Catwoman run, specifically in the beginning of Brubaker's run. A couple little books here. Uh, Mouse. Uh, this is probably the best graphic novel I've ever read. Fantastic. Um, and then we have Joker by Brian Azzarello, very good read, and Batman Death in the Family. It's cool that Robin died, but that's about it. Spoilers. That is my DC Omnibus collection, other than my Deadly Class, those are Image. That is my little DC collection. Now, we're going to mosey on over here to my Marvel books. I have read significantly less of these than I have my DC books. Right off the bat, we have Annihilation, Annihilation Conquest. I've read Annihilation. It's, it's pretty good. It's one of those that it's like an event, and then it has all the tie-ins. Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. I've read a good portion of that volume one. It's, it's good Avengers stuff. Young Avengers by Heinberg. That is excellent. Must read. Alias, Jessica Jones, Brian Michael Bendez. Incredible read. Uh, then we got classic Captain America with Stan Lee. Haven't read that yet. Captain America, Ed Brubaker, Death of Captain America. Excellent. Ed Brubaker, one of my favorite writers. Uh, Captain America, Dan Jurgens. Haven't read it. And I have a few Doctor Strange books. The only one I've read is the one by Jason Aaron. Incredible read. Really trippy. Love the art style. 
really fast, good read. Daredevil, Ed Brubaker, fantastic. Just picked up this new Daredevil on Omnibus by Charles Soule. Looks great. Haven't touched it yet. Fantastic Four, one through three, classic stuff. If you're in the mood for old Silver Age stories, Fantastic Four by John Byrne. I've heard that's one of the best Fantastic Four runs. Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman. Must read. Still need to get volume two. Guardians of the Galaxy. Haven't read it. What if? Haven't read it. Incredible Hulk volume one. Classic stuff. Hulk Planet uh, Planet Hulk. That is a must read. Uh, Incredible Hulk by Peter David volume one and two. Still need to get to that. I've heard that is one of the best Hulk stories. Infinity Gauntlet. Jim Starlin and the Man Thing. Infinity Gauntlet is probably the best mini series ever. Bunch of X Men books. X Men Grand Design. Ed Pisker. Awesome art. X Men Age of Apocalypse. Haven't read that yet. Uncanny X Men Volume 1 and 2. Must read Chris Claremont. Wolverine uh, Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1 was very good. The Mighty Thor by Walter Simonson. Excellent. I'm actually reading that now. Thor by Jason Aaron. Isad Ribic. One of my favorite th- superhero runs ever. Mighty Thor, Volume 1 and 2 by Dan Jurgens. I don't know if I'm going to keep those books. Um, let me know if that is a run I should actually read. I got those books cheap. Don't know if I'll keep them. Then we've got Amazing Spider-Man books, Volumes 1, 2, 3, No. 4, and 5. Uh, ASM by David Michelini, Todd McFarlane, and then the Spider-Man Roger Stern. Just read some of the beginning issues of Amazing Spider-Man in Volume 1. Just reading those classic Peter Parker stories. Silver Surfer Omnibus. Um, Yeah, it's pretty good. New Mutants, Volume 1. Haven't read it yet. Moon Knight by Hudson. Very good. Uh, Classic Moon Knight. Venom and the Eternals. The Eternals stories are pretty good, some of them. Uh, I would give some of those a chance. This is my entire Omnibus collection. Like I said, I read a lot more DC than Marvel. I just like DC better. I like their stories better. I need to read more of my Marvel books, but there's more. This is my absolute and other hardcover collections. I have quite a bit of manga now, and I honestly got to say, I really enjoy reading manga, specifically this. This is the Akira box set. This is probably, other than Berserk, the best manga I've ever read. This is must read. Super fast read, violent, great characters. Just an excellent manga, an excellent comic book. Swing it back up here. This is my Berserk collection. Um, actually reading volume 11 right now. And then I have these beautiful bookends that we got on Etsy. Uh, this is a must read. If you're even a superhero fan at all, you will enjoy this even though it is a manga. Now we have some of the best comic books of all time. Absolute uh, Killing Joke. Alan Moore, must read. Absolute Batman, Frank Miller, Year One, must read. Sandman, Sandman by Neil Gaiman, probably one of the top five best comic books of all time, as well as the additional death stories um, in that additional compendium there. Absolute Preacher by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon, pound for pound, one of the best comic books of all time, and these beautiful bound Uh, tomes. They're like beautiful books. I love this embroidering. Uh, Had a fan of the the channel say to flip those books around so you could see those. Great decision. Sin City and American Gods, Frank Miller Classic, as well as Wonder Woman by George Perez. Um, Beautiful book. Uh, The Sin City, that is a must read. I got to get more of those absolutes. This is the complete story of The Walking Dead. Robert Kirkman, again, pound for pound, probably one of the best comic books of all time. Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, uh, volume one through three. These are all must-reads. And then Swamp Thing by uh, Lynn Ween and Bernie Wrightson. Incredible art. Story is fine. Absolute Watchmen, absolutely the best comic book of all time. My favorite, Alan Moore. Absolute Dark Knight. This is the Dark Knight Returns and then Dark, uh, Dark Knight Strikes Back or Strikes Again, the part two. You know, I can take that or leave that, but 
Dark Knight Returns, that is one of the best of all time. We have Batman Hush. Then we have Absolute Kingdom Come. Alex Ross just shining there. All-Star Superman by Grant Morrison. Must read. And Absolute Authority by Warren Ellis. I've read the volume one. haven't read volume two yet. This is what um, we're going to be seeing on the big screen. This is, this is what they're going to be pulling from for the future movies. Can't wait. Usagi Yojimbo. I've read the volume one. Stan Sakai's classic. What an absolute treat of a comic. If you like anything like Japanese samurai type stories, you're going to love that. Attack on Titan 1, 2, 3. Haven't read those yet. Invincible, Robert Kirkman. One of the best superhero comics of all time. Loved all three volumes. I want to get those in hardcover. From Hell, Alan Moore. Dark, depressing. Very Alan Moore. Saga 1, 2, 3. That is Brian K. Vaughan's masterpiece. Must read. And then finally, Hellboy. Library editions, uh, Mike Magnola's classic books, still in volume one. Need to go back and restart that book. Beautiful books, incredible art. This is my complete collection of collected editions. Reading these has just been such a treat. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.